Hey Chevy fans, today I'm with this very rare find. This is a 2007 Chevrolet Trailblazer. The nice thing about this vehicle is that it has very low mileage, it's super clean, and it's only a one owner vehicle. Every now and then I come across a vehicle that I really get excited about. Some people get excited about sports cars, exotics, pickup trucks, SUVs, what have you. Everybody has their own taste. I like all of those vehicles, but there's something about a vehicle that's in excellent condition, something that's been very well maintained, and something that has low mileage that's maybe 10 plus years old. This right here, being the 2007, is 12 years old, and it only has 58,000 original miles. It's in pristine condition, inside and out, absolutely no rust. So let's go ahead and give you a closer look at this 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. I love what I do, filming cars is what I love, and that's what really counts when push comes to shove. So this is a one owner vehicle owned by an elderly gentleman that was a fire safety inspector, and he really just didn't do a lot of heavy work with it. And it's just in excellent shape, and it really shows that he took care of it just very well. The paint still has a very nice shine to it. Obviously, it has a white exterior. Of course, it is all-wheel drive. The tires that it's wearing are Bridgestone Duelers, 5R17s, 17-inch alloy wheels, and this package here is an LS model. Up front, you do have a chrome strip along the grill. Once again, the clear coat is in good condition on the hood, as well as the roof and just the rest of the panels on the vehicle. Sometimes these GM vehicles tend to have uh, problems with the paint and the clear coat, but this one right here is not like that at all. Let's go ahead and step inside and take a look at the interior. The white exterior and stepping inside, it does have a lighter gray cloth interior with a little bit of a pattern in the center of the seats and these seats are in great condition no staining or no rips no tears anything like that just excellent condition especially the rear we'll check that out in just a moment the dashboard is free of any kind of cracks or damage it's not brittle at all and it really sitting in this vehicle let's go ahead and hop in when you're sitting in this SUV it feels like you're sitting in a newer vehicle just the quality of everything the way that everything has been taken care of it does have power windows locks and mirrors chrome interior door handles which is a nice touch for a base model vehicle the steering wheel a lot of times on these gm vehicles you'll notice the wheels are frayed this one has no fray or any signs of wear even on it over to the left side of the wheel you do have your interior gauge cluster dimming controls and also your exterior lighting controls. It does have daytime running lamps, even though it's a base model. Coming over here to the center, you'll notice that it is four wheel drive. Of course, there's your knob and the control for your rear wiper. It does have a CD player. Just below that are your climate controls. Something I thought was pretty interesting about this vehicle is that it does have dual zone climate controls. Not that common on a base model, and especially a base model from 2007, 12 years ago. We'll go ahead and fire it up. It starts right up. And as you can see, the exact odometer reading comes in at 58,453 miles. This Blazer does have a four-speed automatic transmission with the ability to shift in first, second, and third gears. Drive neutral reverse and you can see that the center area where your shift knob is and your e-brake everything's in good shape it's not frayed or worn at all two cup holders in front of your shift knob and also a slight area for storage also in front of your shifter you have two 12 volt power outlets another cup holder behind the shifter center console area the headliner is in outstanding condition no stains, tears, rips, or sagging spots anywhere at all. Interior lighting. Let's go ahead and step outside and hop in the back of the vehicle.
Looking at these back seats, they really just appear as if they have never even been sat in. They are in that good of condition. They do fold down so you can haul stuff in the back of the vehicle, which I personally don't think was ever done. Looking at the carpet, it's in outstanding shape. It really appears as if people just really haven't put their feet on the carpet, but more so just floor mats. There was floor mats in here. I did take them out. And you do have a soft to the touch insert on all of the doors with a lighter gray accenting the darker gray outer part of the door. Both of the seats do have seat skirts. You do have rear climate controls for the rear passengers to adjust to their liking in the rear of the vehicle. Another 12 volt power outlet and also two cup holders that fold down as you just saw. No flop down armrest in the center of this one. But it is pretty cool how the seats fold down. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Before doing that, you'll want to make sure that the front seats are up enough to where you have enough room so the back ones will fold down without the front ones interfering with them. Just pull that strap right there. The bottom parts fold forward. Pull this little lever on the side of the seat. The headrests fall back and they fold down you can see what i'm talking about the front ones could interfere if they're not up far enough and the way these fold down is very similar to late 90s early 2000s chevy suburbans and tahoes let's walk around pull the front seat forward so we can take a look at the cargo capacity and its full use All of the doors open and shut smoothly with no squeaking, creaking, or pops. We'll hop in here before we fold the seat down. Generous legroom. Of course, the seats are up further now, but even when they're back all the way, you do have a nice amount of legroom. And sitting in the Blazer, I'm very comfortable as far as my head and shoulder room goes. There's just tons of headroom back here, tons of shoulder room. You're not gonna feel cramped or crowded whether you're sitting in the front or the back of this blazer. Notice here the back of the seats in the rear just looks like a brand new vehicle still. The rest of the vehicle really looks like new as well, but especially this here, it looks like nothing was ever hauled or placed on the back of the rear seats. Let's go ahead and fold this one down here. Underneath this, you will notice that it does have the factory jack and tire iron still intact. And we do have a fuse box over there on the other side. A nice thing about this hatch is it does open two ways. It opens by pressing this right here and your glass will open if you just wanna place groceries or something small or maybe you need to haul something longer and you don't wanna leave the whole hatch open. And also, of course, the hatch opens as well and a very generous entryway, as to be expected from a vehicle of this size. Very functional, does have a few storage areas back here. As you can see, side storage slot on the right side with locking latches there. And also over on the driver's side, we do have another small area for storage. Things that you could put uh, Places where you could put things that you don't want to misplace or maybe things that are a little more valuable. And also another storage area here. Nice little extra compartment. You do have five cargo tie downs in the back of the vehicle as well. And these tie downs are like ones that you'd find in a Suburban or Tahoe of this era. On the sides of the vehicle, right as you enter the hatch area, you'll notice two knobs where you can place a cargo net. And also the grooves here are for if you wanted to get a factory accessory cargo cover to hide goods that you might put back here in the hatch area. It does have a tow package even though it's never been towed with. And if you look underneath the vehicle, you will notice that it has a brand new spare tire, never used. And it does have the roof rails so you can put cross racks on it and haul kayaks ladders whatever you might need to haul up there
storage in the doors, one speaker on each of the doors. Decent amount of leg room, the seats back about halfway. As far back as the vehicle will allow with the rear seats being folded down, but I'm still not cramped. I'm very comfortable. I have a lot of room to, uh, to just relax as I'm riding down the road in it. Lockable glove box. It does have the original owner's manual with the case still intact. Let's go ahead and hop out and take a look under the hood. This vehicle has been maintained very well. Regular oil changes, regular service, and wellness checks have been performed on it. And it really shows in the way that it runs. Hood release is just to the left as you open the driver's door. Pop that. Underneath the hood of this LS Blazer is the 4.2 liter inline six cylinder. Not a V6, it's an inline six. If you take care of this engine, this Trailblazer will last you easily two to 300,000 miles under proper maintenance conditions. It produces 291 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque for its time that is pretty competitive, and it also offers 16 miles to the gallon city and 22 on the highway with this particular engine. What we don't have with us obviously is the SS package that has the 5.3 liter V8, a lot more zip, a lot more power, a little bit more fun to drive but this one right here is going to be a reliable choice for something that will last a very long time and be dependable for you as many other areas of the vehicle under the hood the engine bay is very clean and you can tell that it's obvious it's been taken care of very sound no squeaks rattles ticks knocks anything out of the ordinary and driving down the road, it still has very good power, good compression, and it's a nice smooth ride. Something that really stood out to me about driving this Blazer is the suspension, the solid feel of it. As I drive it down the road, I really feel like I'm in a newer vehicle because of the way that the shocks are, all the steering components and everything are tight, just how they should be when they come from the factory. And there are still many of these trailblazers on the road, at least where I live. I see them quite frequently, but what I don't see is these trailblazers with such low mileage in this outstanding condition. Usually they're beat up, high miles, several owners, and they're just something that you don't want to mess with. This one is a very clean, well-kept example of the Chevrolet Trailblazer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, review and tour of this 2007 Chevrolet Trailblazer, a rare one at that with being a one owner and only 58,000 original miles. Stay tuned for more, turn on notifications before you go and subscribe today if you haven't already.